picked up a Game Gear TV tuner. Actually, local ad. Here's the ad here. I stumbled across this ad. Had a Game Gear, a bunch of accessories, and some games. And he said, best offer. Now, the Game Gear didn't work. It said that in the ad that the Game Gear didn't work. And, of course, I basically just wanted it for the TV tuner. Uh, I offered him 20 bucks. He said, no, bring 30 So I said, you know, I do want the TV tuner, and they're, they're hard to come by now. So I said, okay, I'll meet you, and I'll give you 30 bucks for it. So here's what I got. It came in this uh, a kind of official uh, Game Gear case, which is kind of good to have because I didn't have uh, anything to hold the Game Gear in anyways, so it holds all the games and, uh, you know, the charger and the plug that he had for it. And, uh, you know... Oh, yeah, another cool thing is, by the way, when I got there, um... You know, he said, okay, 30 bucks for this, yep. And he said, you know, I got this other Sega machine uh, with a couple games, of controllers, and some guns here, if you're interested in that. And I thought, oh, I wonder what it is. He didn't know, he just said a Sega machine. So he shows me this box. It's a Sega Master System. It's really filthy right now. It definitely needs to be cleaned up. Um, but there's a Master System in there, a couple controllers, the big arcade stick style controller. Uh, the gun, and uh, a couple games. And I thought, you know, well, I don't really need an extra Sega Master System, but, you know, maybe the games. Uh, but, you know, if you wanted 30 bucks for this kit with the game gear that doesn't work, which, mind you, is still fair because the TV tuners do bring in a hefty dollar. You know, but I thought, you know, he's going to probably want a fair price for this, too. And I just really don't need an extra Master System. Uh, and then he goes, well, give me 10 bucks for it. <laughs> so for 40 bucks, I got all the Game Gear stuff with the TV tuner and the dead Game Gear. And uh, all the Sega Master System stuff and a couple Sega Master System games. So we'll see how good that cleans up. Uh, but for now, of course, we're going to look at the TV tuner. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know, uh, the Sega Game Gear uh, came out in the early 90s. Uh, it was one of the first full-color backlit LCD handhelds. It wasn't the first. The Atari Lynx was the first. Uh, but this was probably more popular. Um, most of you know. And uh, the Game Gear uh, had an option for a TV tuner. And uh, that's the TV tuner on top there, as you can see. It just goes in the cartridge slot like that. Let me put the camera down. I'll see if I can show you guys the TV tuner. Okay, so on the TV tuner itself, let me pull it out. You've got your UHF and your VHF, channels 2 to 69. And on top, you've got the selector switch for UHF, VHF. you got your tuning knob here on the right side. And you've got an antenna in the back. Like I said, it plugs into the cartridge slot. A uh, couple cool features up here. You have an external antenna plug. So you can plug in basically cable TV uh, with a coax to 3.5 millimeter jack, which you can get. I probably have one somewhere. You could actually screw on cable TV to that. People have done that. Even cooler on this side is we have... As you can see there, I don't know if you'll be able to see that with this camera, it says AV in. That is an audio video input. That is a video input on this little TV tuner. I didn't even know that this thing had that. And uh, I'll show you how to use that in a second. But first things first, I'll show you just the TV itself over the air. We can pick up channel 10, so of course I'll put that back in the game gear. And uh, I'll turn off the light here. And uh, now I will turn on the Game Gear. So as you can see, that works alright. 
Uh, and now I'm going to show you how to use the AV input. Um, so I'm just going to go grab something. Okay, so here's how I'm going to get any AV source to this TV tuner. I'm going to find a cable that looks like this. Okay, on the one end it has a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack, and on the other end it's got, um, you know, just your your audio left and right RCAs. Now if these are male you can go right into the back of say a DVD player or an old console like uh, you know a 3DO or the original PlayStation, the original models. But generally speaking with a gaming console you have like a multi AV out jack and then you get male ends. So in this case I've got some female ends. So you may have female ends, you may have male ends. It doesn't matter, you should f be able to find a way to to get it working. So in this case this is the cable I've got. Technically this is an audio cable but it doesn't matter. It just tells you what colors they are. Here's the end of... sorry I've got my Dreamcast here. I've got my Dreamcast to keep it all Sega <laughs> and I've got in the Dreamcast if you can see that Sega Rally Championship. So I've got it paused ready to go. Here. Sorry guys, okay, so the yellow in this case happens to equal the white. That's just the way it is. And either audio, I guess, in this case, I'll use the white to the red. Because I think white is usually mono. I could be wrong. Or is it red? Ah, eh, fuck it, it's red. It doesn't matter really, it's going to work either way. We'll go red for the audio. The important thing is to remember that the in this case, your cable might be switched around. It should be the same, though. Your yellow video should go to the white. And then this end here is going to plug in... Ugh. Fuck. This end here is going to plug into this AV input here. I'm going to turn the volume up. And as soon as I plug the cable in, it automatically switches to video input. Okay, so I'm going to turn the lights off. I don't know how I'm going to hold the, this and play at the same time. I guess I should have thought of that first. Let's see if I can put the game gear down. There we go. You go backwards. <laughs> so there you have it. That's uh, a Dreamcast game running on a Game Gear. And it looks pretty decent. It it, it works fairly well, I must say. I'm very surprised. And, uh, turn that off. Ran out of time. Uh, but as I was saying, I'm very surprised that they put an AV input on this Sega Game Gear TV tuner. I mean, the external antenna is nice enough that they put that on there that you could go, you know, to cable TV or a bigger antenna. But that AV input is a bit, it just surprises me that they put that on there. You know, it's it's almost strange that they would expect you to use such a bulky combination of actually wanting to hook like a VCR or a video game console into that and then using this as the screen, but it works fairly well. And uh, I'm very happy to see that they put that on there. And uh, so there you go. If you get a if you get a TV tuner, that's what you'll need. Usually they call it a Y cable or a stereo splitter cable or a 2.5 millimeter to sorry 3.5 millimeter sorry 3.5 millimeter to to RCAs, male or female. Really easy to pick that cable up, and that works. So that's awesome.